Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing a review of Mickey Chambers Shakes It Up. I had such a fun time with this book. I really enjoyed it, rated it four stars. And thanks for following Mickey, who is an adjunct professor at a university. She really loves teaching. She really gives it her all. However, the university just isn't giving her enough classes. And so she's at a point where she's gonna have to pick up a second job in order to be able to take care of herself. And so she ends up working at a bar. Diego is the owner of this bar and he is also re-enrolling in classes after having to drop out to take care of his sick mother. So it's an interesting dynamic because Mickey is his professor but Diego is her boss. I would recommend this to people who enjoy somewhat of a slow burn where both of our characters are just constantly yearning after each other. It is grumpy sunshine, forced proximity, workplace romance, and there is a slight age gap. Mickey is 33 and Diego is 42. For content warnings, Diego's mother passed away and his wife also passed. All of that is past tense, however, it is referenced pretty frequently throughout the book. And for other representation, Mickey has a chronic illness, so she's taking medication for that, and we do see her deal with that a little bit as well. So again, really fun time. If you're looking for a short and sweet contemporary romance, I would definitely recommend this one. But that is all that I can say without spoilers, so if you are planning to read Mickey Chambers Shakes It Up and haven't yet, this is your official spoiler warning. All right, so as per usual, we will start with characters, starting with Mickey. I really like her. I like most of the characters in here, to be totally honest. There's no one that I want to fight. Mickey is great. She's very bubbly. She is the sunshine character. And I think that because of her experiences with her illness, she just lives life to the fullest. And I really like that about her. However, she does have to be reminded to not be afraid to know her worth and to take a stand, especially with the university. They're only giving her one summer class and it's causing her to have to find another job. And even though she loves teaching she doesn't want to give it up she does have to consider if she can keep doing this and not getting paid enough or she's gonna have to make some changes mickey has a best friend i can't remember her name right now but i really liked her too we do get really good scenes with the two of them just hanging out shooting the shit girl talk and all that fun stuff diego love he's great no notes. I think that with Diego, he is just like afraid of change. He just like doesn't doesn't know what to do sometimes. And luckily he has his found family around to sort of help him get through. I really like the scenes between him and his brother-in-law. Sometimes he needs someone to talk to and his brother-in-law ended up being that person and I really liked having those scenes. There are other side characters that work at the bar as well, but I'm not really gonna talk about them. I feel like they're all pretty minor. They're kind of just all there in the background, you know what I mean? But it was a really good story. And so everyone that works in the bar is sort of like Diego's found family. And then we do also see Mickey's parents and her brother. I will say that I wish that we had gotten more scenes with her brother because they talk about how they do like spirit tastings and stuff like that. And that's part of the reason that Mickey was interested in working in the bar. She ends up being a bartender. And I think it would have been nice if we had gotten more of that. I just really like good sibling relationships, I think. So I think that's where that want comes from. So obviously the conflict in this book is the fact that Mickey is Diego's professor, but Diego is her boss. I get it, but at the same time, the way that their relationship progresses, that kind of got thrown out the window real early. So it was kind of like, but does it matter? Because you've already crossed this line. Y'all are trying to stop now, but you, you already went there. So in my opinion, there's no reason to backpedal. My biggest complaint with this book is the third act breakup. Not necessarily that it occurred at all, but the reason behind it. I totally understand what led to it. However, honestly, it just feels like it could have been a, a simple conversation and everything would have been cleared up. I think that Mickey overreacted essentially Diego is trying to say something and he doesn't say it the right way and so it, it came off incredibly misogynistic and it wasn't just Mickey that heard it the other women that work in the bar also heard it so they were all like whoa and I totally understand that like definitely call him on his shit however we all know what he meant and I do think that it could have been a conversation, a watch how you say certain things, especially when talking to me. I think the fact that it led to a breakup and like they weren't talking to each other for so long, but then had to interact with each other still, like it just didn't need to happen that way. That could have been a, we're busy right now, but we're gonna talk about this before the night is over because what the fuck type thing. But I genuinely think that a conversation 
could have fixed all of it because it was very clear what he was trying to say but men are dumb and he said the wrong thing i just don't think that it was a big enough reason for them to actually break up especially knowing that they're gonna end up together anyway that was really like my one big thing also i lied it's not one thing I found some of the dialogue, especially during the sex scenes, so fucking cringe. I wanted to be like, please shut up. Just stop, stop talking. Stop talking. I just don't think it was necessary. That's just me. Other people will probably love it. As far as things that I like, Diego, mostly. I love the way that he just loses all common sense and self-control <laughs> when it comes to her. It's so funny to me. I just, it's like his brain short circuits and he just can't figure out what to do and i just love that but those are all of my thoughts on mickey chambers shakes it up let me know if you have read this if it's on your tbr again i would recommend it if you really enjoy short and sweet contemporary romances with all the tropes that i mentioned so let me know if you're planning to read it otherwise that's all i have for you today and i'll see you in the next video